Hi Esther, uh, my name is Aida and I'm from um, Africa on a blog. Um, could you, would you kindly introduce yourself to our readers? Okay, uh, why, why are you in London? What are you doing in London? Yeah, I've come to London uh, to uh, work together with AMRE, the uh, UK, to create awareness on the international campaign called Stand Up for African Lives, uh, which AMRE is uh, fronting, and uh, I am representing African midwives uh, uh, for the Nobel Peace Prize 2015. Okay, um, could you tell us about your work with AMRO? I am a government employee and of course AMRO is partnering with the governments in many countries. So uh, AMRO trained me, orientation trainings, face-to-face -face trainings and they supervised me and finally I Amref came up with a decision of nominating me because I have practiced for long in the communities, working uh, uh, along in the rural areas for, for quite eight years now. And uh, uh, Amref is one of the health organizations in Africa which has come to bail up uh, uh, African women. And uh, when Amref realized that we had maternal mortality rate which was high uh, so it, it's requesting now uh, the whole world to train 15,000 midwives uh, in Africa in order to give someone like me a helping hand in order to reduce maternal mortality rate and uh, Amre has so far got uh, about uh, uh, 80, 80 midwives on the uh, 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 learning program in Uganda, and I'm going to do one of them next year. Okay, um, could you um, tell us about your day-to-day -day work and the challenges involved in that? Yeah, my day-to-day uh, -day work, I wake up very early actually by around 5 I'm out making my breakfast, preparing my homes and going to the wards because I immediately find out with myself that I worked for 24 hours without resting because we are only two midwives in the health center and we have a, I go to the wards, see the mothers, conduct deliveries, go to antenatal clinic, go for immunizations, go for treatment with mothers who are HIV positive. You can have to go to family planning because we we don't integrate, we don't uh, actually specialize, we do general duties of maternal uh, child health departments. So uh, my day to day I can find myself having to deliver the mothers about five or five maximum or three uh, in every day. And uh, I give uh, I go for outreaches because we have the, the mothers who come from very far villages can not be able to come to the center to get their babies for immunization. So we conduct integrated outreaches in a hard to reach areas where I go riding and give the service to these mothers. Um, okay, what some. Um some of the difficulties um, in your work, because clearly if there are only two of you, um, how do you cope um, with the service? Um, yeah, um, the major challenge is uh, that the staff is still very low, since we are, uh, we are only two in the health center, four, which is a mini hospital. We are exactly supposed to be six midwives, but we are only two. So uh, there's still a lot of gap, and we we were not we cannot able to give adequate service to all mothers, but uh, we try our level best, and we lack uh, equipment because uh, sometimes we improvise instead of giving.
having a, a having light, electricity. We we provide mobile phone torches, which we can use there yeah, uh, the direct light. And uh, sometimes we improvise uh, even other things like gloves, because if the mother is pushing, they are not gloves. They are out of stock. You can just come in a Vera or a like plastic bags. Plastic bags to wrap on your hands to. You save a baby. If you have that baby dead, you might fall down and so you wrap up your hands and help the mother. And this mother's need to sustain this mother's uh, drugs, this mother's need to so many things. So we really need, uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of challenges. And uh, our hospital needs more doctors, more nurses, and more nurses to be there and Okay. Um, as you've had here in um, in the UK, um, uh, the Duchess of Kent, Duchess of Cambridge, uh, is expecting a baby and is currently in hospital um, due to um, sickness related to her pregnancy. Um, how usual is this um, in terms of sort of your client group, and how do you address morning sickness amongst your Client group. Yeah, um, in uh, my country, uh, basically on my training, hyperemesis gravidarum, I'm not sure that is the condition which is in. It's a condition which affects pregnant mothers, any pregnant mother, in the first trimester of her pregnancy, that is below uh, 20 weeks. She can be vomiting from so many things, segregating and frozen. Uh, this one is not a life threatening condition as such, but if it is ignored, it can be life threatening because she may be anemic, she may be dehydrated because she's not eating and she, 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 the baby may fail to grow retardation, that is because a baby is born with retardation and low weight. But, and uh, I'm just getting here and eating you. Limited and it is uh, in new in the news and for us it's something we know because uh, we, we see that these mothers will not die. That's uh, a minor condition which anyone can undergo. But if it persists, it may like threaten and these mothers come to the center after seeing them come and it's the same thing in Africa and in Uganda. We handle them, we give them rehydration, and we give them nutrition food, and cancel the caretakers, the attendants, especially the spouse, to be next to her because it's a, a, a difficult condition uh, in the pregnancy. Finally, um, what would you like our readers to do as a result of watching this video clip? Yeah, what I would like uh, to give to the readers uh, is one thing that midwives are very important people in the world, not only in Why? Africa, but in the world. And uh, we need, we need uh, uh, a more midwives in Africa. Uh, since Amrit is uh, uh, looking forward to train 15,000 midwives, we want people to come up and sign up for a petition for me and uh, uh, let the midwives be trained. And uh, they, whenever uh, they see a pregnant mother, any other person who is driving and sees a pregnant mother walking should give her a lift to maybe she's going to the hospital, maybe she's in the car, just give her uh, a, a lift so that that mother can have a safe clean delivery in the hospital. Because many people tend to drive their cars and look at your pregnant mother and my pastor. She may die there and we are driven, we are left to where they are dying. So I want to give uh, to the readers that actually I want a uh, uh, pass to the whole world that we need well-equipped health centers. Because we have health centers, but we need them to be well equipped so that the few passionate health workers, I mean ones who are working there, can have uh, uh, access and can give uh, adequate 
uh, support to these mothers. And we need uh, actually uh, medical personnel generally to be uh, in the system. And we are calling upon the governments to make sure our roads are good so that these mothers can be go to their health center easily. And we need main involvement because this man also tend to deal with mothers in case the mother is sick she's at home. She has no one to bring them. So we are calling upon main involvement in the productive way. Men should plan to be responsible for the resources. That's what I do want to tell you guys. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.